Happy day, friends. We are in the middle of our busy homeschool day, as always. And I'm going to make creamy baked chicken spaghetti squash for dinner tonight. Not everyone in the family will care for this. There are several who will, myself included. And let's just admit that if mama's happy, everybody's happy. And those who don't care for it, who don't want the spaghetti squash, they can just have regular old chicken and vegetables. So over there in my pressure cooker, I already cooked an entire pasture-raised hen. Now now I'm going to, I'm gonna just go ahead and do these because we have some time. We're gonna read for well over an hour. I'm gonna put these spaghetti squashes in the oven. You can do your spaghetti squashes in the microwave and you can also do your spaghetti squashes in the pressure cooker. But because we got time and the oven needs a workout too, we're gonna to put the spaghetti squashes in the oven this go round. So don't mind my uh, pure and holy bags of cereal. I've got the spaghetti squash here. Now another nice thing of cooking them whole is you know it can be difficult to cut into them whenever, uh, whenever you're going to cut them in half. That's uh, bread knife, frog knife, Jim Rowe. And so by just poking some holes in them and putting them in the oven, I'm gonna cook them at 400 for about an hour. They will still cook wonderfully, only they'll be a lot easier to manage after I pull them out. Plus, I'm reading stories anyway, and like I keep saying, we got the time. So here's our spaghetti squashes. Whoops, fogging up my camera. As you can see, they sat a little close to the top and sat in there a little longer because we've been a reading and doing Legos, but I guarantee you when I open them up, they'll be just fine. So here's what it looks like all cut open and even easier than if I would have cut them open fresh or similarly. I could just scrape all the seeds out. That's where I had pierced them. You left my lovely toilet paper roll. That's my high class tissue paper. And since the kids and I had well over an hour of reading, it was just no big deal. As I've probably said in 50 different languages now, haha, -ha, to just let these go in the oven. And that way I didn't even have to cut them open or pull out the seeds beforehand. And now I am just going to scrape out the insides of the spaghetti squash into a bowl. I'm going to bake these again in the shell though, just for fun, because everyone loves to eat a baked spaghetti squash in the shell. It's like God's own homemade bowl for us. Last one. So as this evening continues, there is just no hiding this developing Rudolph nose of mine. It matches my hat, it matches my sweater. But now we are going to add in the cheese, the cream cheese, the butter, and the Parmesan cheese, along with these spaghetti noodles. Mix them all up, also gotta get the chicken out of the Instant Pot. And then stuff these spaghetti squash shells, cover it with more cheese and put it back in the oven to bake a little longer. Now I have my butter and I have some cream cheese and I'm gonna soften them by just getting the, the needed amount and putting them in the microwave for about 35 seconds. Meanwhile, I'm going to add in a cup of good old shaky cheese, Parmesan cheese. And this is a 16 ounce container. I'm just going to do half of it. Just about, there we go. Remember, Jay Morrell's eyeballing oh, school. Know, That's how we do dish. things. And you can see this, uh, it was half a stick of butter, right about four tablespoons. Tablespoons, yeah, tablespoons. We'll invent measurements too. Tablespoons, and then this was an eight ounce package of just store brand cream cheese. But it's all nice and soft now. I'm just gonna pour that right in as well. Now I'm going to put in pepper. I've had some people ask me why I don't get so specific with my salt and pepper or even spices and general recommendations and that's because a lot of it I feel like is based on personal taste. So you add in the salt and pepper amount that you feel will best suit your family. We're going to give it some couple good shakes of onion powder and a couple good shakes of garlic powder because that is how we roll. And then I'm going to add in two cups of shredded cheese. Again, for cheeses, I always go with what I have on hand. 
So today I happen to have this Fiesta blend on hand. Mozzarella or provolone would be fantastic as well. So I just put chicken in here. I'm just gonna be lazy and cut it up with my spatula. And now I'm just going to fill these shells back. And learn from my mistakes. I just moved my oven rack down a level because that's how these got a little br too brown on the bottoms of the actual shells. That did not affect the spaghetti squash itself, but I moved it down a rack so I don't, don't get this too close to the heat source. And this is sad. I should have scraped this. I think I might open my oven and try to get this last little bit of that yummy mixture in, in a shell somewhere. So what I did is I put those four halves of the spaghetti squash with all that great filling back in the oven. I had preheated the oven for 375 and I'm gonna leave them in there for about 20 minutes. I have the timer set for 15 minutes though so I can check in on them. So friends, while our creamy chicken baked spaghetti squash is in the oven, we're gonna tackle some kitchen cleaning. You can see on this counter we've got some homeschool aftermath which includes some blueberries and some paper and a Bible and a box and some cheese and an erase, you know, puzzle pieces. The counter needs some attention and the rest of the kitchen too. So I figure let's just clean this kitchen while the spaghetti squash bakes. Creamy chicken baked spaghetti squashes. They look fantastic. Vanna White, AKA Jamrell Jamrell Ta Talking Hand approved. And then for this, this is exactly how I'm going to serve it. I'm going to just put one on a plate, add some other veggies, but yeah, how do you like that? It's so fun to eat it out of its bowl. Here, I'll see if I can get a spoonful for you. We'll do up close, up close, cheesy, gooey, yummy goodness shot so I'll feel like maybe I'll feel like I'm eating real noodles and only eating spaghetti squash what do you think as always friends for the full recipe and step-by-step -step directions just head on over to largefamilytable.com it'll be there waiting for you the link will be down in the description below and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video be sure to let me know down in the comments below what kind of videos you would like to see coming up next bye bye